on, everybody? Uh, so today I'm going to be playing the game Salt. Uh, it's by Lava Boots Studios. It just recently came out of Early Access. Uh, I've been playing this game actually for a couple years now, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do a Let's Play of this to just kind of give you guys an idea of what you can do in the game. They've added a ton of stuff since uh, I started playing it, and I actually haven't played it in a while. Uh, except for a couple days ago. I played it for about an hour just to get an idea of some of the changes that they made. So anyway, let's go ahead and start a new game here. Uh, yeah, whenever they, whenever you start a new game, they give you like a, like an automatic name that you can change. Sometimes they're like trying to see. <laughs> That's good. Pantaloon Explorer. Okay, I'm going to go with that. I'm also going to go with the default world seed. Um... I, I haven't looked at any maps for the default world seed because there are some maps that exist of, of that out there that kind of show you some of the different places that you can go to. I haven't looked at them, and I don't plan to, so here's the game. So yeah, that way I'll be kind of exploring everything for the first time, for the most part. So, cool. This is a pretty cool island here. So yeah, Salt is an open world... Um, uh, adventure game. It's it's kind of hard to call it a survival game. I know it looks like a survival crafting game. You do have like a crafting window and stuff like that, but it's more for crafting armor, weapons. Uh, later on in the game, you can build like these really big ships. Um, so yeah, you can do some crafting there. But anyway, what we're looking for in this island right now is we're trying to look for... And see, this is a little bit different. When you first start out in the game, you actually have a diary. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's the main screen. You have a diary. Uh, now you only start out with a crafting journal that shows you how to make some real simple stuff. So we're looking for this guy that's on the island. And, uh, yeah, I forgot where he is. I, like I said, I have, I have played this once, um, just kind of for like an hour, uh, just a couple days ago. Because I have not played it in a long time, and just wanted to get an idea of what's going on. Uh, so, for some reason, I want to say the guy that I'm looking for is over here. What the hell is that? Oh, it's <laughs> it's a wood log. It just looks kind of weird. Okay, so yeah, when you start out in this game, you want to pick up anything and everything that you find. Oh, that's interesting little music there. Um... Cool, yeah, so it used to be that you had to build a raft from scratch. Now, like, that thing, you have to uh, repair it. I think it's going to say, like, yeah, repair a raft. But I don't have the stuff yet to do that. So we're going to go talk to this guy. Hello. Hmm. Hmm. All right, you're awake, I see. I wonder how long you would lay there. I was drinking. Yeah, so, like, some of the stuff that he says here used to be in that journal that you had, but... Campfire... You need some supplies, so if you can take from my chest and grace. So the fire was here. Cool? Alright, who are you? Oh, he's... <laughs> he's trying to be, uh... Trying to be abstract. Um... Yeah, okay, so we're looking for this. The man that keeps a number of inns throughout the sea, marked by beacons, perhaps fame of visit if you need some directions. We're going to look for that guy. Uh, he's the innkeeper. And the innkeeper is um, what I I'm pretty sure still does like the main quest. Because um, there is a main quest line in this game. Alright, so I'm going to exit out of that. And yeah, I'm just going to steal all of his crap. So, <laughs> he said I can take it, so I'm going to take it. Um, oh. oh, yeah, and there's like a dead pirate here as well. Oh, cool. Okay, and that as well. All right, cool. So let's see what we got. So yeah, I'm going to hotkey a couple things real quick. I'm going to hotkey this sword, and I'm also going to hotkey the white flower potion. I'm going to hotkey on that on four, I think. Um, let me get a chest key. Oh, let's uh, put those on. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, that gives you like a little bit of armor, two armor. Not much, though. Okay, and then orders from Buffbeard. Bah, I have with my pickaxe lying around. The oh, yes, that's right. We're looking for a pickaxe. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm not going to... In, in this game, I'm not going to read, like, all the text, because, you know, I'm sure <laughs> if you really want to read it, you can pause the video or whatever. Um, or you can just play the game. This game is awesome. I love this game so much. Please, 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 yeah. If you enjoy this, um, 
go get it. It's on Steam. I think it's only like 15 bucks. And, you know, of course they have the Steam sales from time to time. All right, so we're going to look for the, the pickaxe, which, yeah, is going to help me crack open these things. So, like, if you don't have a pickaxe, you have to um, craft a club, and the clubs kind of suck. So, yeah, I have a feeling the pickaxe is probably somewhere here in the... Oh, Jesus Christ, it's right there. <laughs> I thought I was going to be wandering around for a long time looking for that. Um, <coughs> so, anyway, let's go ahead and hotkey this. I'm going to put that on three, because there's another weapon I hope to get here soon, um, which is a pirate axe. And you will see here in a minute uh, where the pirates are. Where the pirates are! Alright, let's... Where the hell is that uh, boulder that I just saw, like, two seconds ago? It's going the wrong way, aren't I? Oh, no, it's right here. Okay, here we go. Alright, so I'm just, like, left-clicking on this, but you can do a right-click, and I think it does a little more damage. Maybe not six. That said four. Possibly. Okay, maybe it, maybe it does a little more damage. I'm not sure. Uh, another thing that you want to look for when you're on these islands is, um food and there are trees that have fruit in them and the fruit are there's there's green red and purple uh, the green are like give you the lowest amount of food so like when you eat it it gives you like a certain amount of food the greens the lowest red is kind of middle and then purples the highest and purple also gives you some kind of buff in combat maybe gives you like extra stamina or something like that so in this game, uh, you don't have to eat to survive. You don't have to like eat and drink and survive. Uh, bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you're, you'll see uh, blue is stamina, red is health, green is your food bar. Uh, so yeah, like I said, you don't have to eat to survive, but um, your stamina will not regenerate as quickly. And I think your health doesn't regenerate at all if your food bar is like completely empty. Uh, so right now, yeah, I'm just kind of looking, like I said, looking for food, looking for random crap. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get off this island, because first island's super boring. Not really a whole lot to do here. So we're going to repair this raft and get the heck out of here. Okay. Yep. Good. Okay. Um, <coughs> yeah, awesome. So we're just going to raise the sail. Raising the sail is how you get going. And with the rafts, you steer by... So I do remember there was an island that I went to over this way. In fact, I think it's that island. And I found some pirates over there. So we're going to head over there right now. Uh, and we're going to fight some pirates. We're going to fight some pirates. There's a lot of different things to do in this game. Um, like I said, there is a main quest. And you start the main quest by talking to the innkeeper. Um, for right now, yeah, I mean, we're just going to be doing some some questing uh, on the main quest line. There are a bunch of other people that you can get quests from in the game. So we're going to be talking to them as well. Uh, but we're also going to be f we're, we're going to be fighting pirates, because that's like the most fun thing to do in the whole game. Sorry, my, my pirate accent's uh, not on point today. <laughs> I got to get a little bit lower and gravelly if I want to talk like a pirate. So, yeah, um, there is a lot of... Oh, yeah, it's starting to... <laughs> and the trees magically pop up. Uh, so, yeah, there is there is a lot of travel that goes on in this game. Um, because the the uh, randomly generated world is it's just a big archipelago. Uh, I think I said that word right. Archipelago? Archipelago? No, it's probably... <laughs> you probably don't pronounce the age. Um, but, yeah, and there's just islands everywhere. And you can, you can go to any of them and... Uh, there's there are different like biomes, so there's different different types of islands um, that have different kinds of stuff on them. So this one I think is just a regular old pirate island. So we're just gonna head over here and uh, fight some pirates <coughs> and get some loot. Yeah, the pirates have some pretty good stuff on them. Sometimes, sometimes they have some pretty good stuff on them. Um, so yeah, once we get close, we're gonna lower the sail. And you can crash into the shoreline. It doesn't matter. It's not going to hurt your boat or anything. Um, so, oh, 
fact, I see. Oh, yeah, he's right there. There's our first enemy of the game. Ah, uh, so let's charge in. So you got to be kind of careful in battle. Where are you going? Come back. Hello. You want to fight me? All right, here we go. Argus. 